Hi, Hi Valder. Hi. Well, who, what two fine gentlemen do I have on the line today? John Legato and Perfecto Sanchez. Well, thank you so very much for joining us. John, I'll start with you. Tell me what you are doing with the American uh, veterans. Well, I was a Marine back in 68 during the Tet Offensive in Vietnam, which was the, the North Vietnamese attempt to end the war. And they had a, a city called Hue that was the cultural center of Vietnam. And there were 10,000 enemy troops there. On 31 January, uh, 152 Marines uh, went up against the, the 10,000 enemy. And I see that's still very emotional to you. I can imagine that staying with you all of your life. Yes, uh, I think that uh, I don't think there's a day that goes by that I I don't think about the men I served with, and especially the ones that didn't come back. I'm so very sorry, but as an American, we thank you for all that you did. Well, you're welcome. Well, I know we're going to be seeing this on. What are we going to be seeing on television in relationship to this? So it's. It's, the show is called Against the Odds, and it's premiering on the American Heroes channel on Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern and every Monday for six weeks. And what you're going to be seeing, it's a real-life story of Band of Brothers who stuck together to overcome unsurmountable odds and really just the human aspect of what it takes to serve in our, in our country's military. Why now? Why why show us this now? And you know, uh, is it because we're, we're we're trying to end the war in Iraq and and a little people trying to start another war over there? But anyway, is it, is it a good time for against the odds? I, go ahead. I mean, I think that's a very good question. I think it's like why not now? I mean, I think we should always pay respect to what it takes for our, to the country, for the people that really serve our country, and it's not just the military members. I think what the American Heroes Channel is, is, is doing starting today, they're gonna start profiling the different men and women that serve in different aspects of our society. So we can choose to really um, like look up to our basketball players or our rap stars or our reality TV heroes, but I think any time that we have the opportunity to, to thank and to, and to pay respect to people that defend our way of life and, and, and represent our country in a good way, we should. That's correct. Now, this is going to be narrated by Rob Lowe. This is going to give us our real-life band of brothers, correct? Correct. All right, then. Uh, a lot of people, though, don't remember, if we're going to talk about the Vietnam War, John, you know, uh, my kids don't remember that. I mean, that, that's almost foreign to them. How will we make them understand through the uh, television show? Well, uh, war... And combat is timeless. I mean, I think that uh, the guy in the Revolutionary War has the fog of war. He only sees the war through his eyes. So it's a timeless. What, what your children are going to see is inspirational stories. They're going to be proud of the American military personnel. They're going to be proud of their country. And that, that whole issue is timeless. It could be Perfecto's generation, World War I, wh whatever. Perfecto. What do you want? What do you want the listening audience to take away from watching uh, against the odds? I want them to realize just um, again what it takes to to serve, and there are things greater than ourselves and what we think are tough problems. And it doesn't matter to me whether or not they remember the word Ramadi or Iraq or whether or not I was even a Marine or a soldier. That doesn't matter to me. I want them to take away just you know respect for mankind. I want them to take away just um, maybe like a little bit of inspiration that they want to do something better with, with themselves. And I think that's the essence of what it takes to serve, what it takes to, to fight alongside your, your brother and, and, to, and what it takes to, to overcome a difficult situation. John, I'd like to ask you, uh, with patriotism, I just read a meter, you know, it, it's kind of waning. It's not an, at an all-time high. Do you think this can help infuse patriotism in people in America? Because America is the greatest place to live. I keep saying this every day. I've traveled the world. This is the greatest place to live on the planet. Well, you, you cannot watch this series and not have your heart swell with patriotism. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Because, you know, when I grew up... And, we're going to talk about that a long time ago. But in school, you know, you said the Pledge of Allegiance, the flag was everywhere. You felt like you were American. And I think sometimes some of that is not as strong. 
so people may not feel bonded to America. So maybe something like this will give us a little bit of that bonding back to America. I really like this. I can't wait to see this. When do you guys want us to watch? Well, it will be Monday nights on the American Heroes Channel at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. Well, thank you guys. I want to thank you so very much for being a part of it and letting us know about Against the Odds on the American Heroes Channel. I am thanking you, John Lithgow and Perfecto Sanchez. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you.